All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. The New York Knicks has made a big boy move last night. The New York Knicks has acquired Mikael Bridges from the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for Boban Bondanovic and four first-round draft picks and a second-round pick. Woo! This is a big boy move for the Knicks. Also, the Knicks will still have room to sign OG Ananobi to a max contract. So now the Knicks got a missing piece they was lacking in the playoffs, and that was perimeter scoring at the wing position. If you notice that, Jadante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart had to play a lot of minutes at small forward, which made the Knicks a very undersized team during the playoffs. Now you add a shooting guard that is 6'6", that can play shooting guard and small forward and can shoot in Mikael Bridges and pair him up with OG on the Nobi at the at the small forward position, and then he could play some minutes at the four, the Knicks will be a great team because Mikael Bridges is another two-way player that can play both ends on the floor. This is a really big boy move for the Knicks. Also, but on the downside, the Knicks will have to end up letting go Isaiah Hardenstein because there's going to be a team that's going to overpay for iHeart. Iheart had a breakout year in the playoffs. It's going to be a team that's going to pay him at least ten to fifteen million dollars a year, based on his production he had in the playoffs. And the Knicks are ready to overpay for that if they could do the gymnastics of the salary cap correctly. Because you know the new CBA rules kicks in on July the first, which where it's going to hinder a lot of big market teams from stacking the deck. So now big market teams like the Knicks, the Celtics, the Lakers, the Clippers, uh, the Bulls, any type of big market teams, it will hinder them from stacking the deck. So they will have to think a little smarter on how to manage a roster a little better. But let's get back to this New York Knicks trade. This is a great trade. The Knicks are a step closer. They're going to be in the Easter Conference Finals this year coming up. I predict that. And here's the reason why. The Knicks will have enough firepower to compete. And by having Mikael Bridges with OG on Anobi, the perimeter defense at the wing position will be good. So now Jalen Brunson can get hit on defense. So when they run a defensive scheme, you can hide Jalen Brunson a little better because you have a 6'6 shooting guard that can also play the wing position. So, so now Jalen Brunson will have a little more energy to score. And also Mikael Bridges... He remember he averaged about 19, 20 points a season. So now that's an extra 20 points coming from another player. And I think Mikael Bridges is going to have a great year. And I think this will be the year he will become an all-star for the first time because he's in a big market team. And, and, the, and you know, and he plays like an all-star, but the reason why he never became an all-star solely because of how the systems was ran and what teams he was on. Remember, he was on Phoenix at first in the stack Phoenix team, and then he was playing for um, the Brooklyn Nets, and that team was young and losing, so it was impossible for him to become an all-star. But I like this trade. The Knicks are a step closer. Worldwide West is a genius for pulling this deal off. The sky's the limits for the Nets. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel on Mitch TV. And we'll come back with some more news.